Today I'm going to step through an approach that I uh, spent most of the day on here <laughs> uh, for automatically building Drush alias files and then synchronizing them uh, with a with a laptop. Uh, so the code is all posted on Dropbucket. You can see it's dropbucket.org node 749. And there's four files essentially you have to make. I've anonymized them a bit, um, but they're fairly generic for the most part, so there really shouldn't be too much you have to tweak. Um, for context, this is for managing uh, multi-site environments more easily. And I found some code that I based this on, on Dropbucket, um, by BW Panda. So this is for automatic Drush site aliases. And in this example, it steps through and builds a an alias file uh, based on looking at the directory tree of the Drupal system you're working on. So it's very useful for multi-sites. So what I've done is kind of put that on steroids. And so we have um, a system that has multiple multi-site stacks. And so this script is able to automatically identify um, systems within there that have been created. Um, they're created automatically based on one site, if you're familiar with any of the work I'm, I'm working on currently. Uh, so web services allow people to request systems that are built automatically. As a result, it's very difficult to administer those systems without something like this, uh, if you want to use Drush. So, the first part of this is basically finding all the sites, creating aliases records automatically. The second part is then creating subgroupings within those aliases so that uh, I can run a series of commands against just a subset of sites. Uh, then there's another file that you have to you build, and you put this on your remote system. Uh, and all this is doing is it's loading in the previous file, and then it's going to serialize it and output it. Uh, this way you can remotely connect from, say, a laptop over SSH and pull in that serialized information, the array that you've been building up above. Next, we move to local. So you can just copy this file outright. Um, what this file is doing, you see it has directions to put in your, your .drush folder in your home directory, um, is it's a, a very simple class wrapper called execute remote, uh, which allows for remote SSH uh, scripting. And so then there's another function called build aliases in which you pass it uh, the group, the name of the group that you're working on, um, and then some server connection information. Based on that, it will then connect to that remote file, the remote connect.php, you know, with your group in front of it, on the remote site, pull that information in, and then load in the same connection credentials you used to build the aliases in the first place. So... What does this look like at the end? At the end, you make a, you know, whatever your group name is, .aliases.drushrc.php file, put it in your .drush folder, and then all you have to define is the name of the group, which is the same as the first part of the uh, address. Um, the remote user to connect, some different SSH options if you need to, you know, like port and things like that if they're different, um, and then the remote host that you're connecting to. Then there's just these two standard commands of the one that's including all the scripts and the next one that then executes them. So let's look at uh, what this looks like without being anonymized. Uh, so you see I have in here, I've got these multiple stacks. That's because on the server, I actually have this many multi-site systems. Um, and people can request sites from any one of them, basically. You see I plug in the uh, group as uh, a and A in this case, and I uh, have my root at var dub dub dub. Um, and you see, I've modified it a little bit, but generally it's the same. Um, the remote connection then I have is AA dot aliases, so that's my group name. Um, then execute remote is identical to what's on the website; that doesn't have to be changed in any way. Um, and then the last part is, and I've anonymized it, <laughs> is uh, that I'm connecting to the A and A group and I'm going to build these aliases. So what does this look like? So the advantage on a remote system is, if I move this up here, on a remote system, I can run Drush SA, which is for site aliases. And my site aliases folder doesn't have anything in it except that PHP file. So it went and spidered the directories and pulled back all of the sites that it found. Uh, mind you, I can't actually create the aliases file on my own because uh, for example, these only sites, these are all self-generated by users that basically fill out a node input field. 
Um, so if you're doing, if you're making something, you know, kind of similar to like a Drupal Gardens type environment or whatever, this can be very useful. Um, as a result of this file, I can then do a drush. Um, and so, you know, AA for the group name, obviously, and then we can do almost, but there's an additional option within there. So, you notice almost is actually a website, right? So this is what requests the system be to be generated in the first place. The rest of these are subsites, but there's a specialized uh, option in here called almost dash all and what all will do is as you can see it bundles up and the the script also adds this all this all property so that it automatically finds all of these within the almost stack and then allows you to basically do um, what you can do with the grouping the grouping in general and so you see run through and I've got all that that came back so uh, that went and ran um, the status against a whole bunch of different sites. So that's all well and good, but what if I'm local and I don't like having to connect and sync up and I don't know what the aliases are on my desktop either. Sorry, laptop, I always say desktop. So what I can do here is drush sa again, and this uses the local scripts to ask the remote script what it's gonna build. And you'll see we end up getting the exact same information. But again, I haven't supplied my local development environment with any of this info. So then I can do a drush, you know, same as before. Uh, actually, we'll just do almost all, and then we can do status. And we'll ask if I want to execute that, and then I go. So this is going to then basically spider those sites, and it's utilizing the fact that I don't know what's out there, but I know kind of the generic structure of the multi-sites in my environment uh, to be able to execute commands. So that's what this two-step script can get you. Um, you no longer have to write down where anything is because <laughs> I'm very lazy. And I hope you are too. <laughs>